which muscle is primarily responsible for closing the eyelids the options are orbicularis aculi levator palpebrae superioris frontalis or zygomaticus minor the correct answer is a that is orbicularis aculi the orbicularis aculi muscle encircles the eye and is responsible for closing the eyelids protecting the eyes from foreign objects and excessive light question number 2 which facial feature contains sebaceous sebaceous glands that lubricate the skin and hair follicles the options are eyebrows eyelids nostrils or nasal ala the correct answer is a that is eyebrows eyebrows contain sebaceous glands that secrete oils to lubricate the skin and hair helping to prevent dryness and maintain moisture question number 3 which bone form the prominent structure of the cheekbones the options are maxilla zygomatic bone mandible or temporal bone the correct answer is b that is zygomatic bone the zygomatic bone also known as the cheek bone or malar bone forms the prominent structure of the cheeks contributing to facial contours question number 4 what is the primary function of parotid gland the options are production of saliva production of tears production of sweat or production of sebum the correct answer is a that is production of saliva the parotid gland is a major salivary gland responsible for producing saliva which aids in digestion and lubricates the mouth question number 5 which structure is responsible for the sense of taste the options are taste buds papillae taste receptors or gustatory cortex the correct answer is a that is taste buds the taste buds located primarily on the tongue contain taste receptors that enable the perception of different tastes such as sweet sour salty and bitter question number 6 Dear friends welcome back to dear competitive exam youtube channel today you are attending the 50 most important and most repeated mcqs question answers based on human face and this is the part 1 of the series so get ready to challenge yourself and friends if this video is helping you then make sure to hit that subscribe button below your support means world to us so don't miss out hit subscribe now and let's keep the journey going together question number 6 what is the name of the small triangular shaped bone at the base of the skull the options are hyoid bone occipital bone ethmoid bone or schiphoid bone the correct answer is a that is hyoid bone the hyoid bone is a horseshoe shaped bone located at the base of the skull serving an attachment point for muscles of the tongue and throat question number 7 which muscle is responsible for raising the upper lip in expression of disgust or contempt the options are levator labii superioris depressor angulioris mentalis or rhizorius the correct answer is a that is levator labii superioris the levator labii superioris muscle elevates the upper lip contributing to facial expressions of disdain or contempt question number 8 which structure forms the outer visible part of the ear the options are pinna tympanic membranes 
external auditory canal or vestibular cochlea no the correct answer is a that is pinna the pinna also known as the auricle is the visible part of the outer ear that collects sound waves and directs them into the ear canal question number 9 which facial feature plays a crucial role in non verbal communication and expressions the options are lips cheeks chin or eyes the correct answer is d that is eyes eyes play a crucial role in non verbal communication conveying emotions intention and social cues through various expressions and movements question number 10 What is the name of the groove between the nose and the upper lip? The options are nasal labial fold, philtrum, vermilion border, or cupid's bow. The correct answer is B. That is philtrum. The philtrum is the vertical groove between the nose and the upper lip, formed during fetal development and varying. in prominence among the individuals question number 11 which muscle is responsible for compressing the cheeks during actions such as blowing the options are orbicularis oris masseter buccinator or temporalis the correct answer is c that is buccinator The buccinator muscle is responsible for compressing the cheeks against the teeth and aiding in actions such as blowing, whistling and sucking. Question number 12. What is the primary function of the sebaceous glands in the skin? The options are production of sweat, production of oil, production of mucus or production of melanin. The correct answer is B that is production of oil. The sebaceous glands produce an oily substance called sebum which helps lubricate the skin, prevent dehydration and inhibit the growth of bacteria. Question number 13. Which facial bone articulates with the mandible to form temporomandibular joint? The options are maxilla zygomatic bone temporal bone or sphenoid bone the correct answer is c that is temporal bone the temporal bone of the skull articulates with the mandible to form the temporo temporomandibular joint allowing for movements such as chewing and speaking question number 14 which structure separates the oral cavity from the nasal cavity during swallowing The options are, the options are, epiglottis, cula, soft palate, or hard palate. The correct answer is C. That is soft palate. The soft palate rises to close off the nasal passages during swallowing, preventing food and liquids from entering the nasal cavity. Question number fifteen. Which muscle is primarily responsible for closing the lips? options are orbicularis oris buccinator depressor anguli oris or zygomaticus major the correct answer is a that is orbicularis oris the orbicularis oris muscle encircles the mouth and is responsible for closing and puckering the lips aiding in actions such as kissing and speaking question number 16 What is the medical term for the ear canal? The options are cochlea, tympanic membranes, external auditory meatus, vestibulo cochlear canal. The correct answer is C that is external auditory meatus. The external auditory meatus also known as the ear canal is the tube like structure leading from the outer ear to the eardrum.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन विच फेशियल बोन कंटेन्स द नेजल साइनसिस ऑप्शन सा नेजल बोन फ्रंटल बोन एथीमोइड बोन और शेफनाइट बोन करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज एथीमोइड बोन द एथीमोइड बोन कंटेन्स सेवरल एयर फिल्ड कैविटीज कॉल्ड नेजल साइनसिस विच हेल्प ह्यूमिडिफाई एंड फिल्टर द एयर एज इट पैसेज थ्रू द नेजल पैसेज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन Which muscle is responsible for elevating the upper eyelid? The options are orbicularis aculei, levator palpebris superioris, frontalis, or zygomaticus minor. The correct answer is B. That is levator palpebris superioris. The levator palpebris superioris muscle is responsible for elevating the upper eyelid. This muscle contracts; they lift the upper eyelid, allowing for vision and protecting. Question number nineteen: What is the function of the ulna? The options are: aids in swallowing, filters air particles, enhances taste perception, or produces saliva. The correct answer is A. That is aids in swallowing. Ulna helps to prevent food and liquids from entering the nasal cavity during swallowing by closing off the naso pharynx. Question number twenty: Which facial bone articulates with the mandible? The options are zygomatic bone, maxilla bone, temporal bone, or hyoid bone. The correct answer is A. That is zygomatic bone. The zygomatic bone, also known as the cheek bone, articulates with the mandible at the temporomandibular joint, facilitating the jaw movement. Friends, it is a time to comment your score. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of. fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care